good day everyone and welcome back to my channel so today we are going to talk about the four basic shooting technique for pen drawing so before i proceed with the tutorial i really love it if you can smash the subscribe icon on your screen down below and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials relating to pen drawing so as i said earlier we will be learning the four basic shading technique for pen drawing for this tutorial i'm using the big crystal original ballpoint pen and a paper so before starting any drawing the first thing is to get a tissue paper so you can clean the tip of your pen regularly anytime it bleeds so let's get started the four basic shading technique that is needed in a work of art is arching cross arching stippling and scribble so the first one is called arching it involves the use of pen stroke in a single uniform pattern make sure your strokes are close together continue to apply the strokes gradually patiently until you feel the area you are working on it only involves movements in a single direction all throughout the process of applying the pen stroke so that is basically what arching is just movement in a particular direction Always remember to clean the tip of your pen to avoid ink stain while shading. So the next is called cross action. It involves movement from multiple directions while shading. It basically means overlayering pen stroke on each other but from multiple directions. So after I first layer, then I shade over that layer from a different direction. So this is my first layer. and this is my second layer and i'm layering it from a different direction not from the same direction like action it comes from a different direction that is why it's called cross action
so I can still decide to shade over again with another layer coming from another direction as you can see. And it continues that way until you achieve a smooth blend. So the next is called stippling, also known as point sealism. It involves applying series of dots on your paper. This technique can take a very long time to finish up with a particular area. That is why some artists don't really use it again because of the time consumed. So as I said earlier, it's basically using dots to represent your shade in a pen drawing. Unlike arching and cross arching where you have to apply pen strokes, in this case you apply dots, dots all over your paper until it forms what you want from your reference. So the fourth shading technique is called Dodus, also known as Scribble. This involves shading in no particular order. This technique comes in handy when shading parts of the body like the human hair, especially when it comes to the black people, when it comes to shading the black people hair, then this Scribble helps a lot and is faster. So as I said, it's just shading in no particular area and in no particular shape, just like a rough outline. But when those lines, those rough lines come together, it gives an illusion of air strands when it comes to shading the human air with different pressures applied to different areas depending 
on how light that area is and how dark it is so you just take your pen stroke randomly on your paper to form that illusion of air strands especially the black air so that is basically what scribbling is all about just random strokes in no particular order so arching is used to achieve smooth shading in an object or reference same with cross arching also while stippling comes in handy especially the woman's skin when trying to give the illusion of skin force then scribble is mostly used in shading the hair of women especially the black people so we've come to the end of today's tutorial watch out for my next tutorial which will be on how to blend different layers together with the pen don't forget to subscribe as it will help and encourage me to upload more tutorials like this one thanks for watching and see you in my next tutorial bye